also, as you guys can see, I'm starting this haircut off, uh, spinning them in the full 360 just so you guys can see what I'm working with. As you guys can see, the edits are in place. I got the bevel P1 blade, which is the actual T blade. Uh, it's the P1. prototype one. I think it drops uh, late April, early May. But today, I'm not pushing the agenda of a haircut. So, uh, this 100k I wanted to rap with y'all a lot of people don't understand why I've been gone for two months and if you follow me heavy on social media you'll know that I recently lost my brother February 22nd to Chicago gun violence and the only thing that bothers me is you get these people who get on the internet talking about Chicago the murder capital this or that with hundred emojis that's not cool at all you got people who are losing their lives for, for nothing my brother lost his life in the street for nothing that had anything to do with him nothing at all um but what bothers me the most is they caught these four people and with these four people you can give them a million years you can make them not be able to see the light of day again you can give them no parole it'll never be enough it'll never bring my brother back it'll never be enough like i love our justice system for what it is but i hate our justice system for what it is because there's no equivalent trade for a life a life is priceless and that's why today in this message i'm pushing that you tell all your loved ones and people that you truly care about how much you care about them because it might be a day that you don't wake up or you're not able to tell that to somebody and what they gonna remember is damn this person told me how much they loved and cared about me non-stop when my brother got up and went to that basketball court did nobody know he wasn't going to show back up? Did nobody know we was going to get a call from crisis that he died on the table? Nobody knew that. And I tell y'all like these goosebumps that I got, it, it, my nerves is bad. And just touching this subject. But as you guys can see, I'm just rocking out with them, um, them Oster Fast Feeds, man. I've been a master's person. I've tried walls, but y'all never seen me try the Oster Fast Feeds. I'm just veering in and out of my conversation, trying to maintain my anger. But um, to get back to what I was saying, please tell individuals how much you love them. Like my brother, he contributed so much to my YouTube, and you guys didn't get a chance to meet him. Um... If it wasn't for him, that 1.7 to 1.8 million transformation uh, video that I did on my boy Vante would have never hit the market if it wasn't for him. Like, this, there's so much that go on behind the scenes that YouTube don't understand. There's so many pointers that I got from him. Do this beat sound good? Do this commentary sound good? What about these clips? How you feel about this? It's been times that I wasn't even going to drop videos. And this dude will tell me, hey, bro, you got to get that video out. It's people out. Even if people hate it, it's going to be at least one person who needs something or some valuable information from something that you drop. Content is forever. So it's literally a part of my legacy. And he was there through it all and y'all just didn't get a chance to meet him and i think that's what bothers me the most how i can talk about somebody with so much passion but y'all don't understand it because y'all ain't get a chance to meet him but that's the best part about this youtube thing i get to vent to y'all i got a hundred thousand people who hit a red button that technically declares that they rock with me i know I'm not all the whole hundred thousand like me but as long as i got one person that i can preach this message to or one person that i can elevate their game to another level i did my job that's all i'm here to do so one thing about this haircut that i'm starting to like is that it's not a hard fade it's like a slight fade slash disconnect and i love how i did this side right here because it's not a heavily blended side but i blended it according to where i'm gonna put the design and people will be like bro how did you do that most people will lay their design first and then fade around it but see this is one of my close friends i've been cutting them for forever we always know which side we're gonna attack for a haircut so i automatically know where to put the ball line like i know exactly where to put everything and once i'm done with this design it's gonna look like it was already faded like as you guys can see i can even literally go in with these bevels and hit these corners that's the best part about bevel they didn't up this so much since they version one they was out for a year and a half and on the live stream i did with basio we were talking about how we really needed this ty if they came out with the ty they maybe would have started with a banger but you know the best thing is man they moving forward and not backwards because if they came out with the ty and then drop the square that would have been moving backwards but they dropped the square that came out with the ty moving up the mountains but as you guys can see you can shape with these things lay the blades flat whatever the situation is they do work in terms of wireless clippers there's only one wireless clipper that i really enjoy and that's the wall seniors now things like zr's or octanes those are built to be 
uh, to be heavy, strong clippers. So I don't put those in this conversation. Things like slim lines, wall coilers, clips, seniors, uh, anything like a, 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 a small ram, all of the babeless wireless. In terms of a wireless trimmer, ain't no trimmer on the market got more power than these. I'm willing to put my money on it. The bevels can outdo any trimmer that's on the market. The biggest problem was that square blade but now that it's fixed with the t-blade and it's a couple more it's a couple more things they got to fix with the blade i'm not gonna say they're 100 percent there but when i tell y'all they took a hell of a jump they took a hell of a jump in terms of what in terms of how these blades are made how they hit the skin y'all finna see me do work with these clippers but back to my original ram for this for this 100k i really want to thank my subs so much um because 100k is a big accomplishment and people like basio had to explain it to me that 100k is bigger than what i'm thinking it is you know and it's like it's just so much going on and you know you know trying to just catch a grasp of everything um with this youtube thing but i'm getting better with it i got more videos lined up for y'all it's just been a rough patch in life and i wanted to really talk to y'all today this 100k like i said it's not about a haircut this 100k is about me it's about me being an open book for y'all and it's um uh, it's, it's it's me reaching out there i know i'm not gonna be the only person and i know it's gonna be people in these comments who endured or are going through the same thing that i'm going through right now it's literally an everyday battle trying to learn how to live without my brother when i tell y'all was literally the worst information i could have ever got like the worst information ever um so i just really want y'all to understand that um this thing is serious and people are really out here losing their lives for no reason so i want y'all to understand for real please tell these people how much y'all love them because tomorrow not promise for you and tomorrow not promise for them and it, i don't know how much i can stress that message that message in this actual footage but i just really want y'all to understand that from my viewpoint um because a lot of people don't understand that uh in chicago i don't i don't man i done lost so much and i just keep telling myself like uh in order to make it through that storm you got to learn how to dance in the rain uh meaning we always gonna have distasteful information. There's gonna be things that break us down mentally and emotionally, but it's up to us if we wanna keep moving forward and use it as motivation. So I wanna tell y'all once again, I really appreciate y'all for 100K, but we going in with that Victory Fiber of Tomb 45. If you don't know what this is, go cop it. That's all I'm gonna say, go cop it. Shout out to my boy Basio, shout out Danny, shout out Macho, shout out Christian Perez, shout out Matt Gifted Hand, shout out Jeezy, shout Shout out everybody that's in that whole Tomb 45 realm and that team, man. I really appreciate you guys just being able to relate to people. And these people just support me through this whole tough time, man. So I'm going to give a huge shout out. But as you guys can see, the Victory Fiber just go ahead. Uh, I just like to put it on the sides of the fade and just touch the tips of the hair with it. It's just to uh, get things in a certain motion. But as you guys can see, this is my finishing product. And I want to say thank you to all of my loyal subs. If you new, please hit that subscribe button. If you please like, share, and comment, and may God bless. But there's more. So as I told y'all before, I was working about a year and a half to two years very seriously on YouTube. And uh, this is probably my biggest accomplishment from YouTube. I'm going to be working beside Basio, Jeezy, and Macho all together in the um, workshop. And we basically going to be doing a hands-on workshop showing you how to perfect the ball fade within 30 minutes. Uh, and we're going to teach you uh, decent steps on how erasing lines and perfecting blends in our eyes. Uh, also, we will definitely be showing y'all time saving and money generating techniques. We will also be spending uh, an extra hour filming and producing and editing the tutorial and uploading it to YouTube and working through all your keywords and monetizations of the video. Basically trying to start anybody else off who want to take this YouTube thing serious. Um, so not only are you going to get a haircut out this class, you're going to learn how to do everything behind the camera in this class as well. So the workshop prices will be $175 on or before April 21st. April 22nd through June 1st, the workshop price will be $200. Then the day of the show, which is I believe is uh, like June 5th, uh, will be $225 the day of the show. Um, so just come rock out with me, Jeezy, and Basio. And trust me, y'all going to learn something. We're going to give y'all some game. Uh, and may God bless.